I'm good. It is true, I did buy a bond with my First Communion gift. My understanding was if I put my money into this thing, I got more money back at the end of it. And that was uh, fascinating to me. I wanna make money with money. It's certainly challenging, but it's not completely unfamiliar. As investors, we deal with uncertainty all the time. In fact, our ability to generate alpha is predicated on different market participants having different views. And that means that there's gonna be some volatility in the market. There is a set of volatility right now that is a little bit different than what I would call the traditional fundamental volatility. It means that we need to be a bit more diligent, but more importantly, we need to be patient. The beauty of this platform is that we don't have to deploy capital when the odds are not in our favor. We can take a long-term perspective and we can make sure that we are able to price the risk before we deploy capital. Through 20 years of a low rate environment, low inflation, high employment, stability across the, the globe, a move to more globalization, profit maximization was the key thing that all companies focused on. Today, globalization, interest rates, wealth distribution, these are all factors today that just weren't at play, at least not simultaneously over the last 20 years. I think this trend of ever-increasing skills related to data and the tools associated with being able to access and manage that data will continue in the future. In fact, I remember in a meeting in 2018 where I made a comment that I don't believe Excel will be the primary tool that fundamental analysts use in the future. And I recall having a bunch of faces looking at me like I may have gone crazy. I feel like today that statement is far less provocative than what it was in 2018. Whether we're thinking about investors today or investors 20 years ago, we've always been data scientists. What this means though, is that the skill sets that investors have today need to evolve. It's not enough to be able to um, do the traditional investing and more specifically fundamental investing that we've done before. Investors need to embrace all of the data that is available to make decisions. That's the nature of what we do. We're looking for unique, underappreciated insights into individual companies. And the way we do that is by scouring data, finding new data sources, new insights from that data in order to come up with a differentiated point of view. If that means that you're gonna have to use different tools and access new types of data, well, that's just part of the game. It continues to get more and more competitive and more and more challenging, and we need to evolve as the, as the market around us evolves. At each stage of my career, I've had tremendous mentors that have helped me progress to the next level. I don't think mentorship is a nice to have, I think it's a must have. We operate in an apprenticeship environment. Much of what we learn is done on the job. The ability to develop talent is predicated on our ability to mentor them throughout their career. It really is a function of how you bring the people around you to the best that they can be and your individual success is predicated on the success of the people you have around you. The best advice I got from a mentor was, your ability to influence is far more powerful than the formal authority you have. <laughs>